Pentatonix powerhouse Kirsten Maldonado doesn't like country music? And what's with her failed engagement? More juicy details about the pop vocalist ahead. The members of Pentatonix have known each other for a long time. In fact, Kirsten Maldonado and Mitch Grossi have known each other since they were eight years old. Maldonado then met Scott Hoying in high school, and the three active choir members decided to form the group. According to an interview in Go Pride with Grossi, Maldonado participated in high school choir all four years. In 2014, Maldonado told Sweetie Hyde that once the trio got together, they started making plans to perform. In fact, Maldonado, Grossi, and Hoying attempted to take their act out on the road pretty early in the evolution of Pentatonix. Maldonado told the publication that while they were still in high school, Scott, Mitch, and I formed a little trio for a radio contest and put something together. We ended up singing at a choir concert, and it got a lot of attention, so we just kept doing it. The band remained a trio until Maldonado and Hoying entered college, and the threesome decided to audition for the sing-off. To be competitive, Maldonado said they needed two more members, and that's exactly what happened next. Before they made competing on the sing-off their goal, Kirsten, Scott, and Mitch were called The Trio and uploaded a lot of their music to YouTube. Maldonado later told Hollywood Life that going from DIYing a music career online to winning Grammys wasn't easy, but the path was doable and worth it. She added that the key to finding success is to keep going even when it would be easier to quit. She said, a lot of people get bogged down by everything going on, and so many people are trying to do the same thing, so find your niche and stick with it. Their appearance as a five-member group on the sing-off put Pentatonix on the map. Maldonado told Sweetie High that when they auditioned for the show, getting famous wasn't the goal. She explained how the group's obvious affinity for singing and performing is what made them explode, saying, I think originally it was just a fun thing to do where we could all hang out and see each other and we all obviously loved singing, so that just took off." After Kirsten Maldonado's parents divorced when she was six years old, she was mostly raised by her mom. She credits her childhood with her mom as the gateway experience that led her to music in the first place, telling blogger The Asian Fusion Girl that the pair spent a lot of time in the car listening to their favorite songs. Her mom took her daughter's interest in music seriously, and as Maldonado said, "...she finally put me into voice lessons when I was eight years old and I did a community theater show, fell in love with it." Maldonado's mother played a role in her musical career before those lessons as well. As the story goes, Maldonado's first real performance was singing at her mom's wedding, where she reportedly wowed the crowd. While Kirsten Maldonado and the rest of the Pentatonix members were already focused on their music and talent in high school, she did go on to study at the University of Oklahoma for a time. As related by Tulsa World, in true form, she majored in musical theater before dropping out to pursue a spot on the sing-off alongside the rest of the group. While her original goal had been to move to New York and perform on stage, once Maldonado moved to Los Angeles, she didn't look back. While it's likely she wouldn't change anything about the path she took to stardom, Maldonado has been honest about hoping she can finish her college degree one day. As she told the Asian Fusion Girl, her mom is her biggest reason why. She explained, "...how she raised me, it was just important to get good grades. It's just something I value so much, especially after I didn't have to do it school anymore." Kirsten Maldonado has battled insecurity, like most of us, and has been quite honest about the internal battles she fought after first moving to Los Angeles. She explained to the Asian Fusion Girl that part of the problem was that before moving, the most independent living she'd done was living away at college for a year. Though it took time, she added that these days she's feeling much more confident, Maldonado said. I've found my place in the group and within myself. In the industry, it's hard to pinpoint who you really are sometimes. The topic came up again in an interview with Yahoo News. Maldonado explained how she spent a lot of time trying to be what others expected her to be instead of who she is. She added, "...I think it just took a lot of confidence building throughout the years and kind of accepting who I was and taking those risks and taking those opportunities." As the only girl in Pentatonix, Kirsten Maldonado is acutely aware of her position as a role model for young girls who want to pursue a career in entertainment, especially as singers. In fact, as she told the Asian Fusion Girl, it's a position she embraces. After sharing a story about a fan who met her and the rest of her bandmates and was surprised at how normal they all were, Maldonado added that she hopes other young girls and women see her as someone who dared to go for her dreams and who made it. Maldonado explained that she has high hopes for her impact on others, saying, 
I want to inspire people to tear down their walls, especially for teenage girls. So many people don't believe in themselves. People are worth so much more than what social media shows. In 2016, Kirsten Maldonado and her then-boyfriend Jeremy Michael Lewis made a major announcement. They were getting married. Lewis proposed in a major way after three years of dating. The story in and of itself is pretty spectacular. Lewis was on the road with Pentatonix when they performed in Paris, France, and he decided to make the city that many consider to be the most romantic in the world the backdrop to the proposal. At the time, Maldonado was over the moon, gushing to People magazine about the details. After Lewis had a photographer secretly planted at the spot of his choice, he dropped down to one knee and asked Maldonado to be his wife. While she was thrilled with the proposal and the engagement ring, Maldonado told the publication she wasn't in a rush to get married, explaining, "...being engaged is such a beautiful next step, and I don't mind being in that state because it's just so wonderful and happy." However, it seems that things weren't meant to last between the two. In 2017, Radar Online revealed the pair had called their wedding off to, quote, work on separate issues. Per her Instagram, she is currently dating filmmaker and photographer Ben Hausdorff. In 2017, Kirsten Maldonado surprised fans by announcing the release of her first solo EP. While some might have been worried this spelled the end of Pentatonix, Maldonado made it clear that Pentatonix was and is very much together. She just felt ready to explore on her own for a bit. I am nervous and excited, and I can't wait to see it all come to life. As she told Hollywood Life, she's grown up a lot over the years, and the time to show that was upon her. She added, Now having experience and confidence, this project has been amazing, and I feel more creative. Maldonado's first solo single was Break a Little. As she told Entertainment Tonight, the song meant a lot to her. She shared how she'd been working toward writing a song like this for some time, explaining, "...I always wanted to write a sad song that sounds happy. I think everyone can relate to this emotion. It's about longing for something." Like a lot of us, Kirsten Maldonado found out she needed to get pretty creative to keep herself going when the coronavirus pandemic hit in 2020. To solve her dilemma, she set up a studio inside her home. Though she was quick to admit that she relied on her Pentatonix bandmates to make sure the studio was in tip-top shape. In fact, she told Billboard that she called Kevin Alushala to get his advice, saying, "...Kevin, I have this, this, and this. What chords am I missing? What do I need? What am I doing? Like, what is happening?" Luckily, she pulled it together as the rest of her bandmates got their own home studios organized. The group even managed to record an EP of all cover songs called Naturally at Home. When you're a famous singer or musician, it makes sense that people want to know what kind of music you listen to on your own. And Kirsten Maldonado has been happy to answer that question. While speaking to The Hollywood Reporter in 2011, Maldonado admitted that despite her Texas roots, the only genre of music that no one in the group listens to is country music. After noting, I'm just being honest, Maldonado added that each member of the group has their own musical influences and interests, which can bring a lot to the table when it's time to record together. However, it seems that Maldonado must have had a change of heart between the time she gave that interview to The Hollywood Reporter and when she was still planning her wedding in 2017. While speaking to People, Maldonado told the publication she was planning a first dance to Lone Star's Amazed, adding, "...I've known that song for forever because I'm from Texas. Country music is just always playing everywhere." In 2018, Kirsten Maldonado lived out her dream of moving to New York City and performing on stage when she joined the cast of Broadway's Kinky Boots. This was like my biggest dream come true, and so to do it with this cast, what a family they are and what the message is saying is just like a dream come true. It's everything I ever wanted it to be and more." Maldonado told Playbill that performing in the musical was truly the realization of a dream she'd had since childhood. She explained, "...I've dreamed of being on Broadway since I was a little girl, so it's really exciting to fulfill two dreams. I think the most fulfilling thing you can do in an artistic career is to do all these different things." After sharing that she had actually seen the show three different times on her own, Maldonado praised each of the actresses who had previously performed her role of Lauren. Kinky Boots isn't the only Broadway production Maldonado has been involved with. In August 2021, Broadway World announced that the singer had taken on a part in a Chicago production of Children of Eden. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite pop singers are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.